Hey guys, Mooganlore here, and I'm back again with another Moogan discussion video. And today I want to talk about um, Moogan AI. But before we begin, I just want to let everybody know, especially the newcomers to my Moogan channel, I have a playlist for all my Moogan discussion videos. So if you feel like you need to catch up or you want to get involved with the other topics that we have before we talk about these new discussions, check out my playlist. I have a playlist with for everything, and it's updated each and every time I put a new discussion up, whether it's for my game discussion videos or whether it's for my Moogan discussion videos. So make sure you check that out because our last topic has some interesting topics that we talked about, which was Moogan team setups. And it was nice to see everybody get together and share their Moogan teams, post down their, their criteria of why they added, them, added these characters to their teams. And they also put the authors of the characters so other people can may have interest and may want to look into these characters as well and may want to add them to their team as well. So that was interesting. So back to our topic. Today I want to talk about Moogan character AI. Moogan AI is very important for the Moogan experience because like most people who play Mugen and enjoy Mugen, most of the time play by themselves. Mugen is pretty much a, a single player, most of the time experience. Um, for that reason, it's because some people may may not have friends or family who are into fighters like that. Or if they're into fighters, they don't really see Mugen as something serious enough for them. So they pretty much, you know, push it off to the side. And like I said in most of my discussion videos that I play Mugen most of the time with other people because I'm lucky to have friends or family members who enjoy fighters and who enjoy Mugen the same way I do. So most of the time I play by myself and, if, and when you do see me play against the AI, AI, it's for you guys when I upload you know, different videos and everything. So Mugen AI is very important for the single player experience and when I do play by, my, by myself I have criteria to certain things that I look for and what I enjoy most about uh, specific uh, character AI is when that AI makes it feel like I'm actually playing a human player and that's very important to me because both my screen packs my Mugen Warzone screen pack a Mugen uh, Warzone Legacy screen pack most of the characters I have in that roster has intense AI I mean to the point where it's for me it's not fun some people love intense, intense AI but I love the AI where it seems like I'm actually Fighting the character, it, it feels like a, I can space, I can zone. I don't have to play cheap. I don't have to uh, chip out the, the AI in order for me to win. You know, it, that type of AI is very, very, very fun. It's when I'm sitting, feel like I'm sitting down with an actual person. Um, but what is your, what are your criteria? How do you enjoy your um, your moving? I know there's a lot of people out there who enjoy the hard to crack, the hard nut to crack type of. Uh, Mugen character and I've seen plenty of videos on YouTube where characters that I had a hard time with I watch other players have like obliterate the character I mean totally totally destroy the character and I think that's more so because that I guess the player spends more time playing by themselves so they figure out techniques and they get into the lab with their favorite characters so they know how to take out those those intense characters and everything like that so I can it's fun to see when I, I see a player take out an intense character but I don't like, also I don't like AI that's too easy, that's a pushover, or like, especially like some of the uh, um, Capcom vs. SNK characters, or some characters who had charge moves, like uh, Big uh, Big Bang Beat uh, characters, some of their characters, they they, they charge, they, don't, they hardly ever fight, they sit in front of your face, even in, in like, in combo situations where you combo in the corner, they will still sit there in front of you and just constantly, constantly charge and don't even fight you back. No matter how hard you put the set the difficulty on, they just don't really fight you back at all. So I think that's kind of, that's kind of frustrating, especially when I'm trying to uh, upload an, an entertaining match for you guys to see. And sometimes those er those characters, the AI that I fight, don't put up a good a good performance at all. And then sometimes some of the intense AIs that I do have. Sometimes they get a little wishy-washy as well. Sometimes they super intense, and then other times they're just easy, to, easy to play against and everything. So it's, it's just it's like a mixed bag when it comes to that aspect of uh, moving AI and his characters and stuff. And it's all a matter of time. Like if I had the time to sit down, because I'm I'm spread myself everywhere. I have to go to the studio. I'm writing scripts. I'm producing YouTube content, and then I'm going out. Um, you know performing certain tasks and jobs for my clients for my business so i don't really have time to sit down to really uh focus on just moving specifically because i would like to create some ai myself i would like to get down and dirty with it i remember back in the day when i when i was back when i was back in college and my friend dark cypher lucius who's also a content creator um he was just about to get involved in 
into showing me how to, uh, to how to create character AI, and then that all fell apart because I end up going around doing other things besides that. So I haven't got a chance to create AI of my own. But when I do have the time to do it, I would love to do it and try to create some balanced AI for my enjoyment. And hopefully, if you guys have the same criteria as me when it comes to AI. I like to put some, um, you know, some AI content out there for you guys too, for you guys to enjoy as well. So, but please, I would like to know. I would like to know what is your criteria, you know, for moving care to AI. What, what do you look forward to get your uh, single player experience on with Mugen? How do you? What do you find? You you, you enjoy in challenging characters, or do you like a uh, balanced uh, um, AI where it feels like you're playing a human player, or you just like easy? Uh, moving characters so which which one do you enjoy the most make sure you leave your opinion in the comment section below and if you have a moving discussion that you'd like for me to talk about as well also leave that in the comment section this is moving lord signing off